Greetings and salutations, viewer. It is I, Eric J. Chucky. Welcome back to me playing Final Fantasy VI, my favorite game of all time. Let's go back into Muggles. So, letters tell us that war is broken out. Have you stopped by the house up in the far north? The old guy there is a tad psycho. Threw his own kid out under the veldt thinking it was a monster. Oh. Oh. Hmm. This region's called the veldt. Monsters from all over the world migrate here. That's why we ran into uh, guys we fought in Figaro and other places. Got a weapon shop and an armor shop here. Let's see what they sell. Why do I tell you guys things when the game is just going to tell us for me? I am really upset that this is not symmetrical. That hurts my fucking feelings. Okay. Mithril knife. No, no, I don't need that. Mithril sword. Um. We only have one equipped. I think we're okay, but let me buy two. Mithril Claws. Now we could use... Oh no. He's got Metal Claws. Mithril Fighting Claws. Yeah, let's get two. Because then we can... We can do a build. Is that what we want him to do? You know what? Just to be safe. And Kotetsu. Modest Katana designed for ease of use. Get that for Cyan. Okay. Hmm... Black Belt and Hyper Wrist. Instead, we could do Genji Gloves. Does he get the bonus from both of the weapons? No, he does not. Huh. That's interesting. Is the counterattack really worth it? I don't think so. Two Mithril Claws. Nice. Uh, Cyan has Hyper Wrist and Hermes Shoes. We'll leave that on him. We'll just give him Mithril Shield and Kotetsu. I guess that Mithril Shield was on Shadow. Or, oh, no, it was on Saving. <coughs> okay, Bucklers were fine on. Heavy Shields were... Look at all the people we've met so far. That's another thing about this game. And look how much space is left. Um... By now, in most other RPGs, we would be good. We're done. Full party. We got everybody. We've even got the bonus characters. We've got the DLC characters. Not so. Um, Magus hat. Two of those. Conical hat made from cloth with magical properties. Oh, they note that it's conical. Interesting. Bandana. Mm, might be better. This is what we were trying to steal from those... Uh, Martial artists in the Mount Colts that Locke was fucking incapable of stealing. I believe. Maybe it was a plumed hat. Pretty sure it was a man down. One, two, three, four of those. Well. Oh, woven from behemoth hair. Nice. Yeah, those are pretty expensive. That's fine. We'll get just two for now. We'll see how we do. With them. Yeah. One, two. Love to be. Iron Hell. Oh, Jesus. You know, let's go ahead and get four of those. The chopping's hard. Uh, we have two Kenpo Gis. I don't think we need another one. No. Um, iron Armor, we only have one Av. Uh, two, three, four. Sure. Woof. There goes my fucking money. Okay. Optimize. Optimize. He's already good. Arranger. Are you got any rare items? No. You know, this has been bothering me. Um, potion. High potion. Ether. Oh no, actually. X potion. Uh, Phoenix down. Antidote, eye drops, um, gold needle, remedy, tent, sleeping bag. Now, if I hit a range, no. Okay, so it keeps my customer range. They're, they're in fucking order now. 
I don't have to search for shit anymore. <laughs> Check at the inn. We could get a night's rest, but we don't really need it. They're ledgers, they're not for us to read. While out hunting, I noticed a kid running with a herd of beasts. His parents know where he is. Most important dialogue in the game, you guys ready? Good dog. I threw some dried meat into a herd of hungry animals, and some kid emerged and grabbed it. What a dick. Tiny little item shop here. Um, oh, dried meat. What do you know? <sighs> some cures empty stomachs. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Um, when I play the game... Typically because I'm a completionist um, in some regards my inventory. I don't tend to like throwing things away unless I have duplicates of them. This stems from some issues I had in Final Fantasy IX, uh, where I lost out on abilities or certain weird item combos that got you more items or something like that. Synthesis, I think it was called. Um, I always like to keep a backup of everything, at least one of everything, because you never know when it's going to come in handy. Now, there was also a dungeon in Final Fantasy IX where you... <sighs> the lower your stats were the better off you would do. So you want to do equip shitty items. Um, so usually I buy two of those, but she's we only need one. A lot of pretty flowers here. That's nice. Good bird. Only carry your pigeons link our village to the outside. Strong currents run through the serpent trench. Heard about it? No. Never heard of the Serpent Trench. Oh, a weird moon-shaped mountain. There's Doma. And there's a town. Hop into the current and you'll be swept into Kia. Too bad our only diving helmet was stolen. What kind of monster would steal this town's diving helmet? <clears throat> Kids these days. I'm at your service. I send things all over the world. What can Brown do for you? Give me a fucking elixir is what he can do. I like this little basement. I don't know why. I'm just a big fan. That's not me being clever about future events. I just like this basement. The entire the entrance to the Serpent Trench in, is in Crescent Mountain on the southern tip of this continent. I don't like that guy's dialogue because I can't fucking read it, I guess. So. The soldier in here is hurt pretty bad. Keep your voices down. Good call, kid. Good shout. There's some kambages and trenups. Or maybe a daikon radish. Dwayne and Katarin are both 16 and in love. Yeah, I get like that with my girlfriend. A relic shop. Oh, we have more white capes here? Shit, that would be maybe worth using some money on. There's a bed back here. Where we can sleep for free. Sexy. So, there's also a side quest here. Some soldier wandered here. Busted up pretty bad, too. Doesn't look good. Only the letters coming from the town of Miranda are keeping him going. A soldier from Miranda wandered in here. Busted up pretty bad. Huh. Of course, have met a soldier from Miranda at the Imperial camp. Wonder if it's the same guy. I'm from Miranda. The Empire invaded and made me join the Imperial army. I fled when I heard we were heading for Doma. They caught me and 
did this. No, I can't even move. I'll never see Lola again. On the desk is a letter. Will you please read it to me? I will read your fucking letter, pal. I can't get used to Imperial troopers walking the streets of Miranda, but otherwise things are okay. Flowers are blooming in the garden, telling me spring is here. Is it true you were injured? If so, I wish I could fly to your side. I hope you get well soon, and know that I think about you every day. Your love, Lola. I'd like to write her back, but they even broke my fingers. I can't even pick up a pen. Oh, man. That's what you get for deserting. Like, like I'm not for it, but that is literally what you get for deserting. It's the kind of shit they do. You know what we could do, though? I don't know if you put the pieces of this puzzle together, did you? we got a post office right here. Let's see if we can mail some letters for our soldier friend. Postage to Miranda is 500 gil. You gotta send a letter for that soldier, right? Hell yeah we are, because we're fucking nice. So, what we need to do from here is wait. Postage takes time. Good thing we've got a free bed to wait in. How fucking convenient. This is an expensive side quest. We might have to go out and grind for a little gold. But, um, fortunately, uh, we will not need to spend extra on the instay. Could have sworn. I want to get better. I want to see Lola. I could have sworn that reset things. Um, this guy, maybe. Maybe it's not the bed. No, I've not heard of the Serpent Trench. Please, by all means, show me the fucking Serpent Trench again. High excitement. And their only diving helmet was stolen. We are learning a lot today. Sorry, there have been more uh, drinking noises in the last few episodes and pauses than usual. There we go, that did it. It is so fucking dry here. I think if you talk to him, he says there's a letter. I can't find your favorite record. I thought I'd play it and you'd be with me, but... I'd give Lola everything, if only I could move. That's fine, my dude. I'm here for you. Okay, let's get out of the fucking way. 500 gil, you can send a record. You got it, pal. Okay, so we're going to talk to this guy again. I, yo, Serpent Trench, this is brand new information. I could have sworn that bed did it. That's strange. Maybe it's something they patched. As I said, this patch does a lot of stuff to uh, tweak gameplay as well as, um, you know, fix the dialogue. Fixes a lot of bugs and such. Another letter's arrived. Could you read it to me? Mother's taken ill. We can't afford medicine. If only we had a potion. Yeah, I'm getting a good level up. Okay. Uh, now let's. We're gonna go a little extra mile here. First of all, let's go send a potion. Just a, five hundred gil. You send a potion. Okay, fucking cool. Let's go. Oh, item shops over here. Let's go check the price of a potion real quick. I think it's like can't be that much money. It's fifty gold. What the? You guys are... Go out and fight one monster. Oh, not you. You. Serpentage. Now, I don't want to tell me exactly where it is. I want to picture it in my mind's eye. Okay. I see the weird moon cave. Okay. Oh, okay. It shoots up in the corner like that. Cool. And then we go, like, forward. Interesting. Past Doma, you say? Okay. Another corner. Okay. And then we arrive at the town. How nifty. Thank you for sharing with me. Your diving helmet was stolen. The only one, you say? Excuse me, sir. Fucking... More letters. Read them. 
I haven't heard from you. Oh, this is not... Science not doing lady voice. I was. I haven't heard from you. I'm so worried. That was it? That was a whole fucking letter? We just sent it a... Oh. Yeah, okay. You give Lola everything, right? Fine. <laughs> Let me guess. Postage to Miranda. 500 gold. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sent. Good. Sir, I need to hear your riveting tale about Serpent Trench. Hey, I've never heard it before. I, uh, I don't know anyone who would begin their day without hearing about where the Serpent Trench goes in, in startling detail. I want to know every tree around Doma. Thank you for your Mode 7 presentation on Serpent Trench. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, child. Go. Oh, good. Jolly Glee. Another letter has arrived. Fantastic. Cool. You said you were reading a book. If only I could read it too. Okay. 500 gold and send a book. What are we reading? Is it Twilight? It's Twilight, isn't it? It's Twilight. Oh, it's New Moon. Okay. I was a little off. Fair enough to you, sir. Tell me about that servant trench. This, aren't you glad I'm not cutting anything? Isn't this just riveting for you? Now the idea is, of course, um, obviously in RPGs at some point you get a lot more freedom to do what you're doing. So you would like come here off and on. You know, we'd send a letter now and be like, oh cool, we've had done with it. Let's go back to uh, the story. Move forward. Everybody seems to be talking about Gao and we named him so he's probably our friend. No letter. Cool. I heard in my name you've sent Lola many things. I wish to thank you. Please accept this as a token of my appreciation. We receive the Tintinabulum. Which I think is honestly a relic we're not going to fucking use. No, no, no. That's uh, Collar the small bell, rings with each step, restoring HP. That's actually not bad at all. Fantastic. Cool beans. We're already done with it. It only cost us like 3,000 gold. Maybe Anyway. Um, so yeah, usually you'd like come back and forth and do this shit. Thankfully we don't have to do any grinding. Um, so let's head on south. Got Templars, Imperial Soldiers, remember that battle formation? Let's just do some Bushido. Cyan does love, love beating the shit out of Imperial soldiers. And really, who doesn't? There's Gao with his green eyes. Let's go ahead and the bottom of the fucking list, I believe. Yep, there's Dreadmeat. Uh, give it to him. Oh man, made his leg wiggle. That's how you know it's good dried meat. What the? Thou art so... odd. I'm Cyan, and he is Sabin. You Sabin? You Cyan? We want more food. No more for you. You go. Get more for me. You're a regular munchkin. And you... afraid of me. You wanna fight? May not want to hurt you. Stop looking at me like that. Round and round they go. <sighs> okay, alright, you're pretty tough. <laughs> that thought you strong. I <laughs> guess Saban still jumps around a little bit after Gal stops. Me like dancing. You good leader. Shut up. Simmer down, says. And thou, oh, wild one. Who might thou be? Thou. Thou, thou. Thou, thou. Thou, thou. Thou, thou. You angry? Zion. 
You angry with me? Cyan? You angry with me? Listen, his family was just... Me understand. Gao sorry. Gao not me person. Look, we cannot have you two prancing around all day. So Gao, I think we shall get along well together. Will thou join us? Ah, I give you present. Gao gives Cyan and Sabin nice gift and thanks for food. What manner of rubbish do you suppose he's gonna... Gao's treasure shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny! Can anything be that shiny? Does Mr. Thou like shiny thing? <laughs> Mr. Thou's that one over there. <laughs> shiny thing, huh? Think how jealous Locke's gonna be when he hears about this. Who be Locke? Is he bad, then? Maybe he tries to steal my treasure. Locke? Well, he's... Will you listen when someone's talking to you? I think he's trying to tell us something. Oh, all right, carry on. Here, here, shiny thing here. Sabin, place where you buy food. It called Mopus. Cyan, place where you stand. River brought you there. Now we go Crescent Mountain. There's an important detail um, that they didn't actually end up translating that super well. So, the way they're arranged is Cyan, on the map, is where he was when we got to the overworld map, okay? Sabin is roughly Moblitz, is what Gao is saying. Gao is Crescent Mountain, the, where they're standing, roughly, approximately. It's a cute little detail where he's trying to show them, to, to show them the location of his shiny, shiny treasure. Um, and they don't, that didn't translate it very well. Shiny thing there. Look, let's just go along with him to this crescent mountain. <sighs> Why did we invite him along anyway? Mr. Thou, hurry up. We're leaving. Hey, I told you already, I'm not Mr. Thou. Oh, and there's an imp. This imp is going to tell us how Gao's, um, how Gao works. So we choose leap, the man the command that only appears when we're on the belt. Gao leaps onto the monsters. He'll come back, and he'll learn the attacks of the monsters we were fighting when he left and returned. And now he's doing a little dance. Choose the command rage, and we can use any of the attacks he's learned. And then the imp tells us to continue our quest. His little pratfall. He's very upset. So, Gao optimizer got some gear on him. You notice he can't equip weapons. Um, he can equip relics though. Uh, let's put a ribbon on him, and we'll give him the tin bell. He seems like he wear a cat bell. Okay, arrange everything. So, uh, do we already have some of his rages? We do. He's got Zagram. Oh, those guys we tried to steal his shit from. Whisper, Were Rat, Del Modar, Silver Lobo, Hornet, Cartagra, Exocyte, Magic Armor. I think our pretty decent raid. That's it. And that's that's the list of how many he can learn. Feral Youth. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, so we're gonna head down to um, the Crescent Cave. Crescent Mountain. And I would like to show off how Gal gets raided just here real quick. Guard leader. This was the boss in Narsh, remember? Um, we are going to have him leap. See he doesn't have a fight command. Gao yeah, can use leap. Battle's over. I usually just like to do this right here. I don't think it matters at all. I just like to be in the same space. We got Sandrays and Alacrans. So we'll attack them.
There's go. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. I'm Gal. Gal, your friend. Friend. Gal, join you again. So now he has come back with. The Alacran, the Guard Leader, and the Sandray. Pretty cool, huh? Let's see if we can get another one. Just because I'd like to have some shit on him. I don't I don't really plan on getting all of Gao's Rages because, oh boy, we'd be here for a while. Oh, cool. Remember those enemies from Narsh? There they are again. Um, there are some Gao Rages that are, like, crazy good. Um, and you can obviously, now that we live in the age of the internet, go online. I mean, the internet was right back then, too, but... This is kind of lame for Gao to come back on. And we don't actually get experience, so, um... Because he's already got the M-Tech armor. Ah, uh, but does he have the Imperial Soldier? I don't remember. Let's go ahead and get it. Uh, you'll notice we don't get experience for these fights. There's our buddy Gao. Yeah, you can't hit him here, and if you hit him, he'll go away. He'll say something like, you're mean. Uh, how long is this video so far? One more. One more rage, and we'll, we'll head out. Um, but yeah, you can look up what, uh, what all kinds of different rages he has and find the best ones. He already has magic armor, so let's not. No, no. In fact, I'll show you a rage. Um, who did anything? Well, let's use magic armor. Why not? So, Gal rages. Now he's doing attacks. He's got shell on him, um, and he's some variety of berserk. I think that's just showcasing that he's in his rage state. He'll use M Tech laser or magic tech laser, whatever they call it. Um, he'll use all their special abilities. He's basically being the monster that he's pretending to be. Uh, I don't think we have Bandit. We have a wear wrap, but we don't have Bandit. So. And you can hang out here for a while. And you know what? Who knows? I might. I don't know that I'll subject you guys to watching it, but I might come here. Nettle Hopper! Nice. Um, but I might come down here and get some Gal Rages every now and then. See what's up. Uh, monsters won't show up here until you have actually... Oh, is Sabin Berserk? He might hit Gao. I probably should have had Sabin do the thing. Oh, it didn't even, he didn't come back. I'm one of the Nettle Hoppers, bastards. Gao only gets the rages for the creatures he leapt on and reappeared on. Um, anything you fight in the meantime doesn't count. Oh, Satellite. That'd be pretty sick. Let's use some Bushido here. Now he's using that Mega Berserk. We'll be at risk. Man, I hope he comes back. How cool is that? The little rainbow effect on your guys when that when they cast that spell. I just love cool spell effects. The alarm's ringing. Ooh, will we get these guys? Oh, we already have these guys. Well, whatever. I'm going to let Sabin take care of all this. Protect that guy again. I don't want him. I want him least likely to hit Gao as possible. Yes, nice. Okay, we got him. Sabin's slow enough that <laughs> don't don't me hit him. See, your saving was about to attack him there. All right, now he should have the satellite guy. Here's a soldier, hornet, soccer, exercise, satellite. Hell yeah. That one could be cool to use. Nice. Look at all these that he can learn. So once you've um, met a monster, it will show up out here on the belt. And you can... Uh... Let's have Gal in the front of our party. Why not? Tent. And there's a chance you can run into him. This gas tent is yellow. It has a little red and yellow sparkly on top. That's cool. Uh, 
Um, they go in certain, like, orders. There's certain blocks of enemies you could potentially run into. It is all very complicated. It's neat. I love those question marks. You almost never see the emoticons above their heads. But like this scene is a big, huge one. Zion, the shiny thing Gao spoke of is in here. Uh, Sir Gao, where exactly is it? Gao, forget. Ugh. Shall we look around? Indeed. So, what you can do through this cave is just race toward the end of it taking the obvious path that leads you to the end, which I did several times before I decided to just poke around. Hmm, wonder where that item could be. A little scene. A potion? This is a god's treasure. And they're like, oh, good. Um, but see, you didn't have to walk there. That space is what triggered that. You can go fucking here, and you'll never hit it. All kinds of places. I think there's only two. Maybe three. Hey, go. what's wrong? Pouch! There's 500 kill in it! Ye gow, you! Oh dear, so Sabin, let me handle this. Arrgh. I don't think we actually lost any gill. Just for the record. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it around here? No. Cool little cave, huh? I, I like it anyway. Could have sworn there was one where you walk past and they're like, no, I'm not here. It's a little short one, but whatever. Yeah. Is this it? Gauss treasure? Treasure, yes. It is nothing but a dirty glass bowl. Looks like it just might fit over your head. Um, is this of any use? Would this really let us breathe underwater? Let's go. I would have preferred if he was more like, you know... Is this gonna? Is this the stolen diving helmet? Oh, this allows you the serpent trench. But there's a chance you didn't talk to that guy, so I get why they didn't. Still, it's kind of weird to be super vague about that it's a diving helmet. I don't know. Currents quite fast. No kidding. But unless we hop in, we won't make it in time to meet up Big Bro and the others. Clearly we can see here that Gal hasn't tried the helmet out before. Uh, also popular Final Fantasy VI question, how does one helmet fit three people? Let's go! I like that Gal kind of hesitates there. Um, this is something I'm not super familiar with. I'm not a huge fan of this section. There's ways you can go that give you treasure, and ways you can go that don't. One of the slightly annoying things about Gao is that because he doesn't have a fight command, it's hard for him to just bullshit through a fight. Oh, see, he's floating now because we used that monster that was floating, the satellite. And you notice his weapon changed. Even though he doesn't actually have weapons, it changed to the variety of weapons that the monster had. 
Yeah, let's stay right, I guess. Ooh. Oh, cool. Lizardy fish monster. Gao kind of works really well with Cyan, because once he's berserked with his rage, he'll keep fighting in the background even while you're charging up Bushido. I should take him. Nope. Okay. Hey, saving game level. How oh, nice. Oh, good. One of the traders. Okay. Let's go grab it. An axe potion. Nice. We just keep going. I think the next one's left. So let's head left. But it, it's stuff like this as well. Like, okay, remember? Oh, he's still floating. That's kind of a neat effect too. Uh, let's go to the sand ray. So like the status he assumed, so long as it would still keep up out of battle, it does keep up out of battle. Like float or if he somehow self-poisoned. Now, we've got a ribbon on him, so he can't do that, but... Um, <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan of this specific section, but I like that they do stuff like this. This is another way to traverse something, kind of like when we went down Leap River, that's... It's not the same as the last time, you know, if it's slightly different. Um, Alacran. Ooh, Aqua Breath. Ooh! That hurt. Let's just kill everything real quick. Ooh. I think that was the end. Yeah, okay, so we'll have to go right again. Well, if we ever find a chance to get back here... Hmm. There's Gav all splatted out on the ground. Of course, this is one of those situations. So that's his float status of that feather. Or you could switch out and see Saban's giant forehead. Or switch out and see Cyan, his little nappy state. But let's keep Gao up front. Okay. Um, I believe there's some loot here on the dock. Woof, look at all these barrels. We're going to check them all. I will sprint, just for the sake of getting through this, this crate and barrel. Nope, nothing. I'm glad I wasted everyone's time. I'm sure you're glad, too. We'll talk to that guy in a second. Oh, yuck. Um, so, there was something I said I was going to show you. And I will. We'll, we'll check around town here in a minute. Nikia is actually kind of a small town. You will notice we've got a Chocobo stable. We have got an inn. But otherwise, it is just houses and the very bustling dock. Um, have we seen Cyan's tent? I don't remember. Ah, his looks like shadows. Like I said, uh, some of them overlap. Let's save. Alright, so. I think someone in town is going to tell us about this, but this area is caved in here. We can't go across. Nothing doing, okay? And remember that, it will be not important later, but we're still going to look at it.
the the Gorgias or Gorgias or whatever that we fought in Narsh. They did that Frostbite move. Now Gao can do that move because that's what he picked up. <clears throat> that's why I was kind of excited to get those guys because they're not they're not a bad rage. <clears throat> okay, let's talk to some townspeople. A rock slide has blocked the path leading north. As I showed you out there, we can't get north. Remember that. Just keep it in your little brains. Give us an elixir here. Okay. Got an item shop. Do we need anything? Echo screens, not really. Smoke bombs, not really. We don't run enough. Let's go ahead and get two new tents to replace the ones we used. So many boxes to check. Oh. Okay. Looks like junk, but sometimes you can find some good shit. Uh, mithril claws, we got that. Kotetsu, we got that. Mithril pike, we have one. Should I get another one? No. I think we'll be okay. Move along now, you're in the way. Is it true the Kingdom of Doma fell to the Empire? Alright, just calm down. No one can reach Nakia unless they have a ship. That is true. You guys are kind of... Good bustling port town, but um... You're sort of locked up here. Have any imported goods? Do you, do you have imported goods? I'd like some. Kids, you need to calm down. Just lay off the fucking coffee, man. You took one look at me and thought I was a loser, right? You're obligated to buy from me now. Silver Spec, Star Pendant, White Cape, Fairy Ring. Another person selling a White Cape that's so good. White capes are great defense boosters. Yeah, looks like junk. Okay, merchant. Maybe shield, pun hat, mace hat, bandana, iron helmet, kenpo gi, silk robes, and iron armor. I don't think they both need a silk robe, but they're not that expensive, so whatever. This is where I usually go poor, was here in Mobile, is buying armor, making sure everybody's got some cool shit to wear. Let's stop in at the pub. You met that odd man lives near Leith River? His wife born her son 13 years ago. It was a problem birth and the woman passed away. The man totally lost it. He thought the newborn was a monster. Wonder what happened to that poor little baby. I wonder what happened. It's a mystery. Whatever happened to that poor little baby. Also his eyes are like pink. He looks stoned. Weird. Green hair. Weed. 420 blazer. There used to be ships sailing to the southern continent. Zen, Albrook, Miranda. They've all been smashed by the Empire. Yoo-hoo! Oh, Dancer, yeah, sure. Yoo-hoo! You handsome thing. How about a drink with me? How <laughs> oh, dare you! You licentious howler! Unhand me! Aw, oh, don't blow an artery, baby. Let's just have some fun. Hey, you like these? I call this one Humpty and this one Dumpty. That's fucked up, lady. Uh, Humpty! <laughs> Dumpty! Sorry, don't, don't let it get to you. Thou, thou art unaffected by these charms. One of the benefits of all my years of ascetic training. <laughs> oh, don't leave me standing here all alone, baby. Enough of that. A proper woman should have modesty and, and decency. And... Goodness. <sighs> a funny little scene with Cyan. Uh, the Humpty Dumpty thing was not in the original. Um, I think she just said something about having fun. The Humpty Dumpty thing came in, uh, in the Game Boy Advance remake. Good choice on that, though. It's, it's a funny line. But here we are. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I don't really need to, need to, um, because of where we're going. 
but I'd just rather have a fresh start. So none, none. I think the only people that are equipped now. No, where did the diving helmet doesn't show up here? Are uh, Locke and Celeste. Is that a Figaro bound ferry? Hop aboard. Toot toot. That is not the way to South Figaro, buddy. But whatever. Nars is just a stone's throw away. I hope the others arrived safely. I'm sure they did so. Me hope so too. Here is where we'd usually come back to the Moogle if we did Sabin scenario at any other point. But it was the last one. So, the three groups have reached Narsh, and a decisive battle is about to take place. <clears throat> I understand all of it, except how can you be encouraging us to shed our blood for you? I, I never said that. Something like it. Huh, he's right, you know. Bannon, we're asking you to spill your blood. Emperor Gestal's racing to acquire magic power. He set his sights on the Esper that was found here. The increased use of magic power will surely lead to global destruction. I don't remember Bannon's voice. The War of the Magi. The mythical battle that set mankind back a thousand years. Can this really be happening? People will never learn. Brother! Sabin, you're all right. Who's with you? I am Cyan, retainer to the King of Doma. Gow! Gow! Funny note about this. Uh, first of all, gow, gow, gow. Love it. Um, one of those is not the word gow. Um, it, I mean, it is. Exclusively. So if you renamed him Kevin, it would say Kevin, the speaker. Uh, I believe either gow Kevin or Kevin gow. Wild. Maybe they fixed that here. The people of Doma were wiped out by the Empire. Kefka poisoned everyone. Barbaric. Elder. But that was only because Doma was collaborating with the Returners. As long as we remain neutral, we have nothing to fear from the Empire. That's nonsense. Locke. The Empire is poised to attack Narsh right now. What? Locke, where'd you hear that? Celeste here was one of the Empire's gen... That is it. I knew she seemed familiar. Sir Gao, move aside. The notorious General Celeste. She is responsible for the decimation of Miranda. Stand and meet thy judgment, Imperial... Wait. Celeste has promised to help the Returners. She's left the Empire. Be that as it may, I promised I'd protect her. I will not back out on my word to a woman. Locke, are you still thinking about that? I was also an Imperial soldier. What? The Empire's evil, but not all of its citizens are. I'm going to defer to my brother on this one. Emergency! The Empire cometh! We're under attack! I don't care what you do here, just get me that Esper! Lord Kefka, what about the civilians? Exterminate everyone! Wipe them all out! 
But Lord Kefka, no, she's neutral. Idiot! Read my lips. Dispose of any who oppose us. March! It seems we really have no choice. Let's make ready for war. They're after the frozen Esper. We moved it into the cliffs above the valley. And we're going up after it. We'll make our stand there. Locke has a complicated past. I wouldn't go thinking he's fallen for you or something. I'm a soldier, not some love-starved twit. Oh, cold as ice. So, Terra, who'd have thought we'd meet again, like this? You can use magic too, can't you? But it's different from mine. When I was a child, I was artificially infused with magic and raised as a Magitech knight. Is it possible for you to love others? Are you mocking me? A little half-step, Terra stays back. Very good. Subtle. Do not think for a moment. I trust thee. Fine. Use your own eyes, then decide which side I'm on. <sighs> oh, I got a chill, and not just because it's fucking freezing in here. So, we've got everybody lined up right here. There's Ben. Okay. Down south is where the Empire's coming from. We're in the, uh, the cliffs above Narsh. We need to make sure everyone's ready and everything is in readiness. As usual, we still need to protect Bannon. He's not he's not good if he dies. So, uh, we need to make sure everyone is armed and capable of dealing with some pretty terrible threats. Um, let's see. So, Terra is level 13. Gross. Locke is level 13. Ugh. Celeste? 13. Ouch. So, Cyan... Level 15, cool. Edgar, 13. Man, Cyan's our strongest dude. Saban's at 14, that's not bad. And Gao is at 15. So, I'm going to suggest... Hmm. Saban's strong, and he's pretty cool, but... I think Edgar might be a better call here. So, let's get Edgar equipped. Um, yeah, cool. That's all awesome. And actually, we're going to give him a hyper wrist. Because I believe if we increase his vigor. Let's stack. No. Um, if we increase his vigor, I think that's going to increase his uh, tools. Um, what else would be good for him? White cape. No, his defenses are alright. Mithril Glove, no, I don't really need Uh, Ribbon, maybe? Keep him from having bad status effects? Oh, Hermes Shoes, duh. Well, but Cyan's in the party too, and he could probably use the Hermes Shoes as well, so... Um... I'm way overthinking this. Um... We'll just uh, equip it last. Move the Hermes shoes. Okay. So yeah, let's also get Cyan in the party, because he's strong. Cool. Let's give him to Melix. We'll give him the other Hyper Wrist, and we'll give him the Hermes shirt. Cool. Uh, Celeste has her Runic ability, so if we've got anybody who casts magic, see she's already equipped, but with crappy stuff, bam, now it's good. Got that Rune Edge, but I'm not as worried about her running out of MP here. Um, White Cape is awesome on her, just for the aesthetic, but it also has great stats, obviously. Um, you know, Knight's Code might be a pretty cool shout. What's her hit points like? 310? That's actually pretty good for her level. I mean, it is what it is, but... Okay, so... 
Terra, we're going to leave to defend Banna. She's low levels, she's not very strong, she only has her magic. I think that should be fine. So that's going to leave a party of... 3 and 3, should we do? No, let's do 4 and 2. It's super unlikely that... This kind of goes like the fight with Locke and the Moogles. Um, so uh, it's super unlikely that they're going to reach Bannon, just because we'll get down there beforehand. Um, but we don't want to leave him undefended. So yeah, let's go with Gao. Uh, let's give him... Does he need that to tell him? Where is him? It's like 394. That's not bad either. Um, Black Belt sounds interesting. And a Gigas Ball? No, he didn't do the fight command. Uh, really. Let's do Ribbon on him still. Just in case. Okay, so then that's going to leave for party number two, Sabin. Um, I'm not as concerned about his relics, I just want to make sure he's equipped. And lock. Cool, he's all set up. And Terra we will equip last, but we did a good job. We've got gear for everyone, so nobody's like out in the cold. Okay, um, let's just shuffle these people around some more. Because it's fun. And, uh, eat gal. Alright, keep an eye on the party. This is funny. I just think it's neat. I'm gonna save here. Cool. Okay, I believe in us. Prepared? Yes. <laughs> and here the Moogle is coming to explain again. Uh, protect the frozen expert from Kafka. Need some info? No, we did this. So, party number three. Terror of the Sorcerers. Party number one is going to be Gao, Celeste, Cyan, and Edgar. Party number two is going to be Locke and Sabin. Cool. They're coming. Everyone poses up. Oh, if it isn't General Celeste, the traitor. How delightful. This'll be fun. So that way we've got the green grunts, and we've got the brown uh, regular soldiers. Go! Squash those vile insects! <sighs> Alright, so we're Celeste. Let's switch to... Nope, that's the wrong button. Let's switch to Sabin. Get him out in front of Ban. We're going to switch to Terra. Get her in front of Ban. That's basically just defense mode. We are otherwise going to go through here. We'll get in some fights. Nice. Oh, should have done tools. I'm silly. So we've got a lot of people in our group now, um, and there is something I think is kind of neat, if you'll notice. Uh, Edgar and Sabin share the same color palette. Now that doesn't like have to mean anything, because um, the, so do the grunt soldiers, and so do um, Edgar and Celeste, for example. But I just think it's neat. That's just a cool way to show that they're brothers. Um, and I think they use it as a way to show, you know, other deep bonds between certain characters. Yeah, get a little bit of extra experience here. We've got two of our highest level people here, so it's not a huge deal, but... I like that they included the dash button, because having sprint shoes take up a relic slot the whole time sucks. And I also don't want to always rage. Hmm, let's charge this shit up. If I was smart between episodes, I would have looked up whether or not um, science speed affects his Bushido.
Ooh, another flurry. That'll probably do it. Oh, another flurry. Duh. Let's pretend like I didn't say what I said. Did. Okay. Another guy. Hmm. Ray Gorgeous. Ouch, a crossbow. He just did a hit that time. We'll just attack. And you know what Celeste can attack too? All these guys have magic. I like this snow battleground. I think it's really pretty. Doesn't look as good as it did on a CRT, which that's interesting. The sprites actually kind of look better blown up, you know? Because you can see the details a little more. Like, I can tell exactly what outfits they're wearing, whereas when I was a kid, I was like, what is what is going on here? Um, but some of the, the battle backgrounds don't look quite as crisp. And maybe it's just having seen the, uh, the remake backgrounds, which do look really amazing. At least for the battles. I think they actually look good there. Overworld, well, as we said. Here we go, go, gal, go. Add your game to level, nice. Traditionally, when I was a kid, uh, my main party here was Edgar, Sabin, I want to say Cyan, and. Lock? Maybe I'm wrong about that one. I'm having a hard time remembering, honestly. What are we waiting for? These tools. Auto crossbow. What kind of damage are we dealing with? Oh my god, that's nice. A couple of people are looking a little bit damaged. Whew. I don't know what potions. Well, not really, but. We've got magic we could be using. There we go. I also established more forward positions when I was a kid. Um, but really just dropping them on Bannon just in case one slips through is a, is a wiser choice. I'm surprised I didn't kill them all. Just fighting. We waited around for all that time. We didn't need to. Okay. Oh, we got a brown one. Mostly just wanted to say the brown soldier's fight. Heavy armor and corporals. Okay. What else do we have here? Belmudar, as I recall, he had like a lightning move. Yeah, that's it. It's not bad. Whoa, that looks cool. Vaporwave as fuck. Oh, cool. We just refilled Celeste's MP. <laughs> nice. I didn't realize that counted as a magic. Interesting. And good for future note, and uh, you know, having Gal and Celeste in the same team, not necessarily the best idea. Uh, Arcospo. Uh, Dalmodar wasn't that good. I think we've been getting better shit out of the um, Gorgeous. And we'll charge up Bushido. Just go ahead and do that. Celeste is mostly here for utility presently. Oh! Oh, you guys did it. You did the combo. So proud of you both. Okay. There's only a couple of guys we need to worry about anymore. The Hell Rider. Look at that sprite. What a menacing creature. Um, just attack there. Rage. Let's get the satellite in. Uh, use your runic. We'll charge some Bushido. 
Yeah, we'll know if science, if haste is having any effect on that. Because he's not. He's not going that fast. Dish out the punishment, Cyan! Spear. Reverse polarity. Oh, yeah. It puts him in the back row. But he used it as his death move, so what the fuck was the point of that? We're right next to another soldier, so we gotta fight him. I think there's, like, a, a doco you can fight through here. I might want to get it just so he shows up on the belt. Bandit. Magic barrier. No! Oh, this isn't a Nuzlocke. Duh. Still, that's terrible. That was not worth it. Who was that that we used? Good god. Cool, thank you, Cyan, for that crit. Oh my god. Poor Gal missed out on that experience. Okay, just real quick here. Uh, range. Use the Phoenix down. Dead. Doesn't even say wounded anymore. He's dead. He's just friggin' dead. Alright, let's go and use our potions. Have delightful cat aggro is what's going on in the background there. Okay. Alright, we should be able to manage this. <sighs> Fighting Kefka. Not gonna use that fucking thing anymore. Satellite. Ooh, she do. No, no, not yet. Um, Rudick. Because it's Kefka. And Edgar can attack. up. Attack. Good damage on Kefka. Good damage from Gao. Ah, oh, yep, see, he's using Thunder. Rigged. Two. Three. Four. Another because we're all doing okay HP-wise. Don't think you've won. I'll be back. And we managed it. Hot shit. Got a peace ring. Kafka gave us a peace ring. Ah, I won't forget this. Poof. Where's the Esper? Is it okay? That was a close call. Could it still be alive? Impossible, right? Taro, what is it? No. Terra and the Esper, they're, they're reacting to each other. What? What am I feeling? Huh? What? What's going on? Please, tell me. Who am I? Who? Terra. Esper, I can actually feel its mind. Terra, step away from the Esper. Whoa.
And off she goes. You're awake. Where's Tara? She changed into a something and took off. She looked just like. She looked like an Esper. Which is dramatic, but a weird conclusion to draw. Because, like, we fought a bunch of weird shit and Esper's. Well, she didn't look like Valley Garmando. Put it that way. Locke, are you okay? Something happened to Terra. There seems to be some connection between Espers and her. Anyway, we need to find her. Witnesses saw her streaking westward across the sky, past Vigoro. Let's go. I promised her I'd... Lock. Think, people. The Empire still wants that Esper. Bannon needs our help, too. A former Imperial soldier. We have no choice. We must help her. Let's split up. Those who aren't searching for terror will stay and protect Nash. Figaro Castle can shuttle us to the Western Province, then we'll make for Koringen or Jador to track down clues. Okay, so, here's another thing I really like about Final Fantasy. Remember I said before there's no main character? Did I say that before? I'm saying it now. There's no main character. Um, you get to play as whoever you want. Literally anyone um, that you have that's available. And there's a lot of points in the game. Most of the game, actually, you are completely in charge of your party composition. Um, in the first half of the game, there's a lot of story beats where you don't have full control over it. But there are still a lot of places in the future that we're going through that you do have full control over who's in your party. Um, and I, I just think that's awesome. Uh, I love customization. I love being in charge of who I want in my group and who I don't want in my group. Um, and Final Fantasy VI gives me those options. So, uh... Uh, ordinarily, I'd put it to a vote or something, but um, last time's vote didn't go that well. So, uh, we're going to do a thing real quick, and we'll go from there. So, let's go ahead and put Celeste in our party. Let's go ahead and put Edgar and Sabin in our party. We'll leave everyone else here. Okay. Gal, Gal do his best. And then you can change group members when you talk to these people at any time. I promised Tara I'd keep her safe. We have to help her. I do actually want to change my group members real quick. Let's just switch to just lock. Because everybody has different dialogue. Find Tara. I'll watch over Narsh. Go quickly. And... She ripped out of here. Look just like an Esper. Alright, so we'll go back. We'll put... We'll do Celeste. We'll do Ed. We'll do Saban. Okay, there's also people to talk to up here. Oops, excuse me. Sir, sir, excuse me. Thank you. There's Arvis. We're tearing turn into light and strength away toward the west. Make your way to Figaro Castle. Maybe they can help you there. Go find Terra. She holds the future to our survival. Okay, cool. So, now we get to explore Narsh finally. We're going to go ahead and do that. This, uh, 
Somebody tells you that this place is full of treasure. And nice money. Another earring. A thief knife, which would be great for lock. Only the chest in the back is locked. Can it be open? You're in front of my fucking elixir, dude. Whatever. Reflect ring. That's an interesting little toy. Thief bracer, also great for lock. Another hyper wrist, and that's the that's the locked chest. So, um, I'm not super worried about equipment at the moment. Mm, let's go out through here. Oh, nope, 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 nope. No looks are there. Armor store. Oh my god, Mithril Shield. Oh, everyone can use one. But you know what? Our party only has three members in it at the time, and we already have one, so. Bandana, yeah, that's fine. Iron Helmet, Silk Robe, Iron Armor. We're good. Narsh is a neutral city. We want no war here, but that damned empire won't listen. Uh, originally, in the Super Nintendo version, that was censored. That wasn't even a swear word there in Japanese. It was just Ted Bulls again, him. Magic? Cha! What nonsense. So, magic really does exist. I like that these two guys come together and talk. I ruined their little cycle by speaking with them. But it's kind of like they're having a conversation. Oh, magic, what the hell? Um, yes, let's load up on guns here. They're just so cheap. Just an easy way to heal. We can buy high potions now, that's good. Don't really need smoke bombs, still doing good on tents. Uh, okay. I figure a castle could burrow into the desert and even take you to Kohlingen. That's incredible. Curse the day we dug up that Esper. That's what brought the Empire here. Sure is. Thank you for not blaming the returners for no reason. I like the brickwork in here. Sadly, there's not really anything in here. Can we sleep in this bed? Nope. Okay. Relics, what do we have here? Sprint shoes, jewel ring. Breath petrification, I think we saw that in Figaro. Barrier ring. Enchanted to cast Shell when wearer is critical, which is like a Mithril Glove, except it's Shell instead of Protect. We might pick up one of those. Yeah, let's pick up one. Um, <laughs> talk to this guy. I saw some mules walking with a Yeti the other day. No one believes me. I will believe you on the mooples. I'm troubled. I want to avoid fighting, but... Well, I took your elixir, so there's that. Nice little neat room. Just well set up. I like how a lot of the um, buildings have an external pickaxe and shovel, in case you need to do some emergency mining or shoveling. Mithril Claws, Gotetsu, Mithril Pike, Air Knife, Chain Flail, Spiked Steel Ball connected by a chain to a handle. Neat. Um, I'd get that and equip it on Celeste, but she doesn't can't use Runic unless she's got a sword equipped. Moon Ring Blade, Steel Throwing Ring with a sharpened outer edge. Let's go ahead and grab that, though. In fact, let's get to... That was a lot of money, but trust me on this one. A little bed in here, that's nice. See, like I said, it's nice when you, you know, the shopkeepers have a place to sleep. You could kind of assume, but follow our elders' advice. The glowing form soared off from Figaro Castle. It seemed almost human. Geothermal devices keep the city warm. And that's all this steam and cogs and such, you see. Thus, the far right contains the treasures I've collected. Take them before the Empire does. Only one of them is locked. Now, what do you suppose is inside? 
That's the guy who officially gives us permission to take all that shit. Which is nice. You know, like, I assume most people don't know there's elixirs in their box. But, uh, it's nice not to have to ransack someone's treasure. Their personal earnings and storage from all their years of adventure. So, I promised you guys something else. We're gonna go see this now. I think there still might be a couple of little, like, teasers, but uh, I think we should be alright mostly. You might want to go out and get some experience in the world before coming in here. I know what I'm about, son. Use a cure to spell or item on an undead creature for maximum damage. Re-raise automatically revives a character if KO'd, even if status is affected. Regen gradually restores a character's HP. Runic turns many magic attacks into MP. Can be used repeatedly. Morph increases attack and magic power. Duration increases with AP gained. Oh! I didn't know that. Dance and Rage, once selected, will continue until the battle is over. Reflect spells will fade over time and can't block certain magic attacks. Three-way attack indicates a fire, ice, and lightning attack. When multiple images of your characters flash on the screen, weapons won't touch you. Need status info? Sure. Clear. Enemy can't strike you, but you're an easy target for spells. You'll revert to normal if a spell hits you. Imp. Lose use of spells and commands. Zombie. HP drops to zero, and you attack party members. Use holy water to reverse. For confused and sleep, you'll revert to normal when struck by a weapon. Each Bushido attack has its own unique name. You'll gain more Bushido skills over time. Basically, levels is what he's saying. Would you get the fuck out of the way? Desperate times can bring out strength you never knew you had. Critically wounded characters may occasionally perform powerful hidden techniques when you select attack. So by critically wounded, they mean when we're hurt so much that we're down um, crouching, which I don't remember. I think we've seen it with the poison status, but I don't ever. I don't remember if we've gotten that low with hit points. Um, I want to say it's like 10% of your hit points below that is when you start crouching. Uh, those are limit breaks. They became more popular later in the series, but this is actually the first game to have limit breaks. Each character has a unique one. About Reflect. Uh, reflect doesn't block spells that have been reflected off of others. Enemies protected by Reflect? Try bouncing an attack of Reflect protected individual in your party. Reflect, Reflect, Reflect. You got a potion. So there we go. Um, yeah, like I said, a couple of teasers for future abilities and such, but uh, now we know. Okay, so we are going to... Leave and Narsh, but first, blurt. <laughs> Still works. We will actually be coming back to Narsh in a moment. I have something I want to show you with Edgar and Sabin. And of course, you gotta fight Leaf Bunnies and Darkwinds. What are you even doing if you're not fighting Leaf Bunnies and Darkwinds? So that's game to level, it's cool. Um, I would show you their desperation attacks, their limit breaks, but even when you're wounded, there's only a very small chance of seeing them. I think I've only ever seen two in my games. Um, first one was Locks. I didn't know what was going on. I thought it was just cool as hell. And I think I've seen Mogs. Maybe a character we don't have yet. We don't we remember Mog from the beginning of the game. Um, I think I might have seen other characters, like I said, someone we don't we don't know yet, we haven't met. <laughs> Mogs is kind of boring, it just looks like Sabin's um, punchy move. I think he's not even got white fists. King Edgar, welcome back. So, the dialogue changed. We experienced a little bit of that earlier when we um, were walking around as Edgar. These guys have different dialogue. I don't think so. That's fine. Yeah, okay, same battle. Does he have something different? No. This is like old times. I have to wander around for a while. Okay. Again, those treasures we skipped out on before. Welcome back, King Edgar. Make yourselves at home here. Um, 
Phoenix down. Oh, maybe they didn't change. I thought they did. No, no, there we go. Golden Needle, that's nice. I can't take money from the king. Look, don't you have a family? Just shut up and take it. People said shut up a lot more back in the day. Very rude. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple holy water. I don't think anything's going to zombify us anytime soon, but I'd rather I'd rather be prepared to not. Also, we do get a discount. Potion and a minute. And what's on sale here? <gasps> New tools. Flash. Inflicts darkness on all enemies with a brilliant flash. And drill. Oh, no, no. Okay. You know what? Shurikens. Oh, they're not even worth that much. Mm. That makes me sad. It makes me very sad. We gotta do some grinding, I guess. The drill's cool. Oh well. I'm not gonna use it at the moment either way. What we are going to do is have a sleep. See, Saban's not even in our party now. There he is. Huh. Castle hasn't changed much. And yet it's all different. Mom and Dad are gone. Everyone's gone since that day. Tonight took a turn for the worse. There's a chance he might. No, you're wrong. This can't be. High Priestess, the King, he's... Sabin! Sabin! My father. I don't believe this. Brother! <laughs> so, I went and told you. Edgar, here you are. Your father, he just uttered his last wish that Figaro be divided between you. This is nonsense. Everyone's saying that the Empire poisoned Dad. And the only thing on your minds is who's going to be the next king. You're all pathetic. None of you probably cared when Ma passed away giving birth to us either. That's not... You were as bad as any of them. Save it. Empire of murderers. They won't get away with this. Hi, Priestess. Please leave us. I'm out of here. I'm forsaking this war-sick realm for my dignity and freedom. You said you were sick of it too, right? <laughs> freedom. What'll happen to this realm if we both leave? And what would Dad say? Saban? Let's settle this with a toss of a coin. If it's heads, you win. We'll choose whichever path we want without any regrets. Okay. This is for Dad. And then you opted for your freedom. It's been ten years. The little shrimp's grown into a whopping lobster. And you're a king crab.
Saving. I often wonder if he'd be proud of me. Don't you ever doubt that. Ten years. Where has the time gone? Here's to a couple of confused grown-ups. Eh? Here's to Dad. To Mom. And to Figaro. And now he's back with us. King Edgar showers his attentions on women. Young, old, pretty, or plain. No one's safe. Most are too smart to pay any attention to him, though. Oh, King Edgar. It's a little palate refresher after the, the feels. Okay, so we're good to go here. That is what I wanted to show you. You don't get that scene if you don't bring Edgar and Sabin back here. If you bring Edgar back here, you get all the dialogue. If you bring Sabin back here, he runs off and he goes and enjoys the castle on his own. But if you don't bring both of them back at the same time, you don't get that scene. We're going to see a couple of more things, but I want to make some changes to the party first. And I'm not all that upset about wasting y'all's time fighting these bosses, not bosses, these little battles and stuff. A, they're quick. B, we could lose the money. Um, but I, I don't really want to take Edgar and Sabin with us because I... I would like a break from them, because we're going to be seeing a lot of them later. Oh, really? I expected fully for there to be um, an Imperial soldier here, so I guess we can still go through the cave. Um, but I believe everything else down there is as you saw it um, when we left with Locke and Celeste. So we could go down there, but uh, we wouldn't be able to go into Figaro because there's uh, South Figaro because there's people, Imperial soldiers, um, guarding the actual entrances that we wouldn't be able to get past. Which is cool. Like we have no reason to go to South Figaro. There is nothing there for us, like item-wise or anything. It's not like there's a special thing that they're denying us. It's just at this point in the story, it's blocked off by the Imperials. Like, so many games. And it's so small, because it's requiring us to go to places that we shouldn't go. But so many games, even today, don't pay any attention to that shit. It's like, oh, it'd be nice if I could go here with this person in my party and, you know, they would say something or whatever. And sometimes you do still have it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not just knocking on new games. It's not like new games don't do that. Please. You know, this was a step in the process that has led us to the kind of depth that RPGs provide these days. But, uh... Let's go ahead and... They don't have relics on right? Oh, no, they do from the battle. Oh, shit. Does everybody? Boo. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of Edgar and Sabin here in the future. There's a couple of places I want to go specifically with them. Uh, okay, change group members, yes. Lark, Cyan. Oh, actually, that works out. They're still equipped, so that's cool. Okay. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, so we're going to go to Relics here, actually. Um, thief Bracer. Bracer of the Thief Spirit increases steel success rate. Do we have the other thing yet? Oh, no, that's the Thief Knife. So, yeah, he doesn't get that for a while. Okay. Thief knife. Knife that sometimes steals from an enemy. I like the moon ring blade though. Um, and I'm not so worried about... We'll get a relic later that will... Uh, Genji gloves. Optimal equipment change. So the moon ring blade is also just as effective from the back row. So now we've got lock in the back row. 
he can use that blade, and he's basically a ranged fighter now. Everybody gets Mithril Shield. Uh, relics. That's fine. I don't really think she needs Knight's Code, actually. Uh, Mithril Bug? No. Could give her an earring. It's more effective when paired, though. Oh, Peace Ring. Uh, prevents Berserk and Confusion. Yes, let's do that. Uh, Hyper Wrist and Hermes Shoes. I'm not, I don't think his, his haste is doing anything for us. So, Hyper Wrist and Gigas Glove, you guys think? Yeah, let's try it out. And Black Belt and Ribbon on here is fine. I'm cool with that. Okay. No more rare items, right? No? Okay. Glad we still have that rum. Very important. <coughs> Back out into the open world. This is such a cool section of the game, and it's it feels like, you know, the next act, the next chapter. You know, there was the beginning, where we're getting to know everybody in the situation. Let's check out this fucking cool-ass Moonring Blade. Wham. Wham. Not bad at all. Um, there was the scenarios. Um, and, and then this big battle with Captain that they include with all these characters come back together with all their new friends and you know have this huge battle it's so cool um, and now we're kind of in a new chapter you know Terra's turned into an esper I guess watch this is Vigor of the Desert Castle doesn't talk about Edgar we want to go down here we, got, we done did explore that's a request this month. If it's your wish, I'll take you beyond the mountains. Let's go to Colingen. <laughs> ah. He's pulling that switch. It's a big switch. And what a cool way to gate off the rest of this map here. Because there's no natural way around it. And you can see that from looking at the mini-map there. The girl has to escape. So, you know, from uh, um, Kefka's fire attacks. Next stop, Colingen. Watch your step. So he can't, we can't get back in there until Edgar comes back through and, and everybody's safe. That's Colingen, but we're going to go north. <laughs> Damn, that did a lot. Gao's strong. Like, the biggest problem with him is that you have no control over him, and it's hard to know what his rages do. I think I might end up using Gao this playthrough, like, more than I usually would. Let's get that gorgeous. We're just gonna fight him, yeah, but. Use some new monsters, weird chicken vulture, look at that crazy turkey neck. Stealing high potions, that's nice. Bam. We already stole there, so just use your moon ring blade. Oh, and a crit, beautiful. Man, that's some money. Mm, we might want to return to Figaro Castle and get that uh, to the uh, What do those guys have? 
potions. Okay, nothing crazy. I'm getting that low voice, voice, voice again. Um, my throat's tired from all this talking, all this incessant babbling that I'm sure you guys just love hearing uh, about Final Fantasy VI. Um, I've recorded a lot of episodes tonight, uh, split up for a couple of reasons. Uh, you may remember the first, um, but it's it's been good. It's been dandy. I'm so glad that we got this far. We just have a little bit further to go before uh, this episode is over with. But you know I gotta show off the weird shit. So here's this. Oh, fall right outside the house too. Bunch of butts. Okay, just the wolves. Just have potions, so. Oh, a hero's ring. Ancient hero's golden ring boosts attack and magic power. Let's put the hero's ring on. Hell yeah. Since Celeste is really the only person we have who knows magic and can attack. Also, in case you didn't notice it earlier, I kept Terra out of the main party and I don't think I equipped her or I equipped her last with the crappiest gear because I knew she was leaving. We can't let the world become too peaceful. People are at their best when they're at war. My Coliseum will be a monument to war. If I can ever get the help I need to finish it, that is. What a weirdo. That's what I came up here to show you. There's also um, some dangerous enemies I am actually going to save. Oof. Been a while since I saved, so I'm glad I did that. There's some dangerous enemies here. Oh, and a chocobo stable. We need money, otherwise I would totally use it. I'm fine with having a couple of battles. Iron Fist and Rock Wasp. No, that's not what I thought I'd find. Let's go ahead and steal from them. What the fuck, you know? Yeah, potion. <clears throat> Damn. That rune blade, critting like that, that is pretty f fresh. Eh, not that much damage. Cyan gained a level. Ooh, got some gold needles and a meatful knife. That's not bad at all. Nah, I'm not gonna wander around. They're they're little cockatrices. We'll we'll see them some other time. They're they're weird. Moucha. He's actually stealing stuff that uh, that seafood really helped. Like it's a lot less. Come on, lock. Do your fucking job. And a lot more. Good job, lock. Ah, uh, they're probably not going to survive this. Phoenix down, got some money. <sighs> okay, back into Figaro Castle to buy that drill because I don't know when we're going to have another opportunity to do so that's not a huge pain in the ass. We also took some damage, so we can go ahead and sleep while we're here, I think. Bye. The drill. Yes. Good. Thank you, merchant. Thank you, kind merchant, for your drill. It is a tool of great importance. Oh, fuck. Take a rest, yes. A 
of course. <sighs> they didn't really have much to steal, so let's just fuck them up. Guard leader, do your thing. Bam, that power. Just such cool characters. Okay, Culligan. Everyone was scared when the glowing creature stopped here and left south toward Jadur. Was it really a monster? It stopped right in front of my little girl. I could see it had gentle eyes. That shining creature is so frightening to us all, but I found it beautiful. I know that song. So, yes, we could pick up Shadow here. Um, and I often do. But he still has a chance to run away. And we're going to go through a long stretch where that is definitely a possibility. We're going to be missing a couple of small lines of dialogue. And there's actually kind of a cool little a moment you can do. Because you can recruit Shadow here and take him back to Narsh where you can switch out your party members, only to prevent you from switching Shadow out and causing some kind of error where he exists as a constant member of your party, because he has scripted events elsewhere, um, he, like, leaves. He's like, I have no business in Narsh, and I don't want to be in Narsh, and he fucks off. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, do it on your own time. I don't really want to show it off, because, well, I'll show you. We meet again. Leave me alone. Oh, he doesn't say it. Um, if you have three members in your party, which is the reason he didn't want to group up with us, um, he will offer to join you for like, I think 3,000 gold, maybe 30,000 gold. It's a lot of money. And Shadow's cool, but he's not that powerful. We don't need him right now. Stay away from that guy. He's an assassin. Some pretty bad sorts coming here. That guy's an assassin. Okay. My brother's a bit crazy. Lives alone to the north and dreams of building a coliseum. Ah, uh, it came to my house and burned it down. A monster of light. It looks somehow human. Wow, that sucks that your house got all burned down. Hey, is that you, Locke? Have you stopped to see Rachel? Uh, see, we have Locke in our party. A girl named Rachel used to live in that house. Now it's deserted. <clears throat> General store. We can buy air knife, chain flail, morning blade, moon ring blade, excuse me. Sure you can. Ah, so these are what make Shadow's throw command a little bit better. His ninja scrolls. Um, they're a little expensive right now. But let's buy a couple. We can always come back here later. Um... And we'll run into Shadow again, so we'll try those out later. Ethel Shield, Magasana, Bandana, Twisted Headband. Headband often worn by martial artists. I'm going to buy one. Iron Helmet, Silver, and Iron Armor. Okay. Because we're not high on the here. And then this guy just has the usual. And we're, we're set on all that. We're good. Let's go out this door here. My dream is to see an opera at the Opera House south of Jador. I'd wear a sequin dress and bring a handsome escort. Must stay away from the house on the eastern edge of town. The old coot there spends his days mixing curious herbs. I already keeps ghosts under his house. This house? This house here? This house on the eastern edge of town? Let's go in the back door. And take that green beret. Oh, fuck yeah, the green beret. Uh, yeah. Who else has one? I have an iron helmet. Oh, Celeste. Um, 392. Oh, yeah, because Cyan's so many higher levels. Yeah, and Locke can use it because he's not very high levels. Cool. We will go to that house properly in a minute. First things first. Wasn't able to save her when she needed me.
Locke, what are we off to find today? Ah, oh, soon you'll... You're not going to believe what awaits us up here. Come on, it's worth a fortune. Locke, look out! Rachel! Rachel, are you awake? I... I can't remember anything. Get out of here. It's your fault she's lost her memory. Wait a minute. She said yes. We were gonna... Just let me talk to her. Go. I don't know who you are, but ever since you came here, my parents have been upset. Notice Rachel's face. Actually, it looks a lot like Tara's. Another person Locke met with amnesia, who he felt the need to protect. This is why. You'd best leave Rachel alone. She's going to have to make a new start of it, Locke. Your being here doesn't help. A year passed. When I returned here, I learned that Rachel had perished in an Imperial attack. Her memory returned just before she passed away. The last thing she uttered was my name. I never should have left her side. I... I failed her. So, Locke has some damage, to be clear. Locke is damaged. Damaged people make damaged decisions. Weird fucked up damage decisions. Did I get the certain item in there? No. Oh, okay. Weird fucked up damaged decisions. Ah, is that you, Locke? Well, it's been a while. Ah, uh, or that? Well, worry not. Your treasure's quite safe. <laughs> Through here, now done, finished. <laughs> I use some herbs to preserve her body. She won't age a day. <laughs> That's what she wanted, right? I use my herbs, I did. Rachel. You sure these herbs will work? Of course, the love of your life will sleep here like this forever. <laughs> I wonder if there was some way to call her spirit back. You know, a way to call her back, huh? You mean like that legendary treasure? <laughs> oh, yeah. I suppose if you had that, you could bring her around. <laughs> Notice also the color palette similarities and slight garment similarities between what Celeste is wearing and what Rachel is wearing. Rachel has dark hair, but the green, the white, and the blue are very present. So that is something we could only see if we brought Locke here. Um, and that little extra bit with Celeste, small though it was, is something we could only see by bringing Celeste here. But we have seen it, and it is now time to move on. Our best bet is south to Jador. 
so much fun stuff coming up, so much stuff I'm so looking forward to. And I'm glad that I'm doing some different things this time around. Um, I'm having a good time, and I can't wait to talk more with it with you about it. Yes, that's exactly what I meant to say. Uh, but, good lord, my voice needs a rest, so I am going to give it one. And I will join you guys again in the future when I have some more time to do some more recording and play some more Final Fantasy VI. Still remains my favorite game ever. Whiteout? <laughs>